I'm gonna be showing you my everyday eyeshadow. This is what I do all the time. It's so easy. It's great for someone who has smaller eyes like me because it kind of brightens them up. So we're gonna hop right into it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize Bigger Brighter Eyes Palette. It's so beautiful. I love these colors for green eyes because they make them pop. So I'm gonna start with this matte color. We're just gonna dip a little bit in. It's very pigmented, so if you're using it for the first time, just know a little goes a long way. And I'm just going to put it right here and kind of go, sorry, and kind of go up towards my eyebrow, kind of in that same direction. And then we'll take it into my crease. I like to keep my eyeshadow super natural, but just create a little, little bit of something. So this is perfect for that. It's not super glam, but it looks really pretty. And then I'm just blending that in once I create those lines. Now, as you can see from my particular eye shape, I'm actually going up onto my brow bone because when my eyes are open, if I don't do that, you see no eyeshadow at all. So I take mine onto my brow bone rather than just going in my crease. Everybody's eye shape is different, so figuring out what your eye shape is and doing your makeup to complement that will really help your eyes look bigger and brighter and just more flattering to your face. That's all we're gonna do for the crease. Now I'm gonna take the sparkle that's down here. It's the lighter color sparkle, but it's like the larger specks of sparkles, I guess you would call it. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on my lid right in the center and where that color starts. And if I took out it too much of that darker, I'll just go back in a tiny bit with it again. And then I'm gonna take the lightest color right here and we're going to put that right in the inner corner. I'll put my makeup brush down. And then I'll just drag it a little bit. Because of the shape of my eyes, I do like to add a lot of sparkle on mine to kind of open them up and brighten them. Some people don't like as much sparkle and if you're a little bit older and have more mature skin, I would recommend doing more of a matte. But for me, this works great and I love it. And then I'm just gonna put any leftover of that lighter sparkle right under my brow on my brow bone. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is go under my eye with that darker matte color. And this just kind of brings it all together. I also feel like it makes my eyes look bigger and makes the color of them pop a little bit more. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more glam, you can add eyeliner or an eyeliner smudge. Sometimes if I want my makeup to be more dramatic, I'll just do a small eyeliner smudged wing on the corner, but usually I just throw a mascara and go because it's so easy and it's so fast. So that's what I'm gonna do today because that's my go-to. I do use a eyelash serum and it has made a world of difference for me. I use the, what is it called? Okay, I use the eyelash serum. It's the Hello Lash Lash Therapy. It's amazing. It's work wonders on my eyelashes and now they're so long. If you've watched our previous videos, I've like never had eyelashes before. So it's amazing. I'll try to link it in the description because it's a game changer, but I'm gonna do a little eyelash primer on my lashes before I put mascara on. This one is just the Grande Lash Primer. I feel like it's great for separating my eyelashes, especially now that they're longer, it kind of makes them not as clumped together. 
and then we will apply mascara. Grace has me hooked on this mascara. It is the best. It's the Hourglass Unlocked. It's all I use now because it's legit so amazing. I love the brush. It has like a tiny brush so you can really get in there and put your mascara on. And then the way it coats your lashes is a little bit better for them than some other mascaras are, so I highly recommend. And then I usually do two coats just to make sure I coated them all, especially since I use an eyelash primer. Sometimes if I do just one coat, I'll have like white tips on my eyelashes. So I usually do two coats. It makes them look super full. And then I'll apply a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. And then if you get any mascara on your lid, I feel like I always do. I can't help it. I don't know why. I just take my eyebrow little pencil, the spoolie end, and I will just kind of brush over it a tiny bit and it just kind of falls off. Super easy way to clean up any mascara on your eyelids without messing up your eyeshadow too much. And then if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic, but not dramatic to go all eyeliner I will just line my waterline with either a black liner or a brown today I'm gonna do a brown because I want to keep it pretty natural and I will do that by just pulling up my lid a little bit and then going in there and filling my lash line just to make my lashes look even fuller And that is all. Super simple. I can do this in less than a minute. Takes no time at all, and it makes you look like you put so much time into your makeup. 